A certain game involves tossing three fair coins and it pays 17 cents for three heads, eight cents for two heads, and one cent for one head. Is eight cents a fair price to play the game? Does the eight cents cost to play make the game fair? So in order for it to make the game fair, then our expected value when we compute that would be zero. So we're going to set up an expectation table where we list all of the outcomes and the probability for each outcome to occur. The first thing we need to do is identify the total sample space, the total outcomes when we toss three coins. With three coins, you could set up a tree diagram to do that where we list the outcomes for the first coin. First coin could be heads or tails. Outcomes for the second coin, if we branch off, the first coin could be heads, and then we list our outcomes for the second coin. Again, each time we toss a coin, it's heads or tails. So each of these will branch off with two events. So right now, we could have heads and heads, heads and tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. But we have a third coin. So we branch off once more for each of these outcomes, and for the third coin, we can get heads or tails again. And if you count up the last column here of outcomes, you're going to have eight different outcomes. Now to list those, you have to follow the branches from left to right. So we have heads, heads, heads. We have heads, heads, tails. That's where the first is heads, the second is heads, the last is tails. Or we have heads, tails, heads. Or heads, tails, and tails. The other events occur when the first is tails, and then we have heads and heads. Or we could have tails, heads, tails. Or we could have tails, tails, heads. Or finally, tails, 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 for a total of eight outcomes. A quicker way to just find the total outcomes is to list the um, outcomes for one object, so identify the number of outcomes for one coin, in this case it would be two. If you had a dice that you were rolling, it would be six outcomes for one die. And you raise it to a power, the exponent is equal to the total objects. So in this situation, the outcomes for one coin is two outcomes, heads or tails, and we would raise it to three coins. Two to the third is two times two times two, or eight. So now that we have all the outcomes listed, that's going to assist us with our probabilities for the events. For the expectation table, we want to list the outcomes and the value of those outcomes. So first we have three different ways to win. We can get 17 cents for three heads, but we need to subtract the cost to play from the 17 cents win. So we're looking at a cost of 8 cents to play, so I need to subtract. 8 cents from 17 cents. That gives me 9 cents. Now the probability, probability of the outcome x, is the probability of getting all three heads. And if you look at these events, there's only one way over here to do that. So there's one way out of eight ways to roll three heads with three coins. The second outcome is 8 cents for two heads. But I need to subtract the cost to play, so 8 minus 8 is actually 0 cents. And the probability of this event, 2 heads, is all situations where we have exactly 2 heads. So you wouldn't include the 3 heads. So I have 1, 2, 3 ways to do that. So 3 out of 8 outcomes is 2 heads. Finally, we have 1 cent for 1 head. So 1 cent minus 8 cents to play the game is negative 7 cents. Now the probability of getting one head, we're going to look at all of the outcomes where we have exactly one head only. So we've got one, two, three ways. So this probability is also 3 out of 8. Now when you set up an expectation table, the sum of your probabilities must total 1. Right now, if you add the numerators, you get 3, 6, 7 eighths. So there's something missing from the table. Well, what's missing is the outcome of losing. 
If we lose, we're out the cost to play the game, which is eight cents. So we make negative eight cents the value of losing, and the probability of losing is the leftover amount to make this total up to eight out of eight. So we have three, six, seven eighths, so the probability of losing is one out of eight. So to calculate the expectation, we multiply the outcome by the probability, and we add all of those together. So in your calculator, you can type this in in one step like this. Nine times one divided by eight. So don't use your fraction key, use your division button here. I guess you could use your fraction key because notice they want the final answer to be an integer or fraction. Integers are whole numbers, negatives are positive whole numbers. They are not decimals. And then fractions can be um, something improper like two thirds. So they don't want decimals for this answer. So I could do 9 times 1 divided by 8 plus 0 times 3 divided by 8 plus negative 7 times 3 divided by 8 plus negative 8 times 1 divided by 8. And when you set this equal, this is going to give you the expected value of this event. So my calculator says negative 2.5. Now my calculator has a way to convert fractions to decimals. That's a good thing to learn how to do on your calculators. Um, if you are not sure how to do it, you can Google it and you can Google your calculator model and ask the question how to convert decimals to fractions. This right here is equivalent to negative five halves. So this is the expected value of this event. So the eight cents cost to play, if I look back up at this answer here, I would select is not a fair price. The reason why it's not a fair price is because I didn't come out with zero cents. Zero cents is an even fair game. So it's not a fair price because the expected winnings are, and here you would say negative five halves cents.